Our second uh, uh, lesson that with my friend Kid Ramos here. Um, in our first uh, lesson, um, we uh, covered swing and jump uh, ideas and comping ideas. In this um, series of lessons, we definitely want to take control of some of the other feels, uh, being like a rumba, um, a grinder, and maybe a do a couple other ideas on uh, uh what would be besides Chuck that? Berry, Chuck like Berry a rock and roll. So do a half step. But it's almost like a... So do you start on the end of the, 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 the bar before? I know that's a kind of a technical thing, but I think, you know, it's like jumping on a, a, a diving board, you know, does it help mm -hmm. if you go and one? I think so. Okay. I think so. That's kind of the, the feel that, I, that I'm going for. I don't know if it's exactly, I mean, it, I, it's Chuck Berry to me, but I'm, I'm not trying to copy Chuck Berry note for note. I'm just trying to, you know, get the essence of what that is. I mean, as a kid, that Chuck Berry, I bought this record and it was called Berries on Top and it had like an ice cream sundae on the top. And I think I was 14 and uh, I was taking guitar lessons from a guy in downtown Anaheim really really good guitar teacher real good guitar player and i brought him that record and i said i want to learn this and uh i never did get the record back and i i never did get to have him show me any of that stuff so <laughs> i think years later i just kind of tried to figure it out or assimilate it the best i could but the guitar playing on there is just to me just genius chuck berry is just that's the beginning of rock and roll guitar playing for me and uh, so uh you know i just try to pick up some <laughs> one of playing like a straight straight feel it could be like a like a tramp or you know but people call it tramp yeah uh, like that little fulsome um feel or like a slim harpo they all kind of have the same straight feel but they all have a different energy to them and uh this one's definitely uh you know derivative to you and your playing because i've seen the t-birds i've seen Harmon. you know i think that mm -hmm. i think uh I think those are the two places I've actually seen you execute this sort of straight beat. So let's uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Well, this is in the key of E, and it's an E7. Mm -hmm. So playing off of this seventh, hammering on the third to the high to the octave beat to the seventh. race notes mm -hmm. um, that are percussive in nature that aren't real notes like right. you're hitting you're hitting some like a, a click yeah you know and it, and it seems to help reinforce the uh, the feel of the swing yeah. in this maybe maybe we can take those licks maybe talk about kind of or you know, talk uh, talk about what uh, feels good I'm also a lot of times the palm of your hand creates um, an effect where you can cut the notes short and you can also ghost the note with the with the pick. <laughs> 